This week as always I am delighted to have you tune in once again this week and if you are watching this channel for the first time please kindly consider subscribing for all things relatable easy and affordable home making content this week we are celebrating a 4,000 subscribers mark and so if you have recently joined the family welcome 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 I try and work a little hard every week to make sure that this becomes an enjoyable stay for you how about you go ahead and drop me a hello on the comments section so that I can warmly welcome you personally on the comments section and to everybody who has been riding with us from the 20th if I'm not mistaken of August 2020 thank you so 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 much for your kindness for sticking by and for coming here every single week I appreciate and love you guys so 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 much alrighty and now in today's video I wanted to share with you uh, steam irons that I have been trying out so recently I have been looking on the market for specifically handheld um, portable actually uh, steam iron and uh, been doing um, some kind of shopping and uh, I think about three four three three or four weeks ago i finally got something and i wanted really to go for like the most affordable range um although i did take some time to sort of look at reviews i got one uh from take a log and it is a, a toby brand uh, but when it arrived um, they were missing items in the packaging and I'll just insert for you the first one that I bought over here Anyway, so the were missing items when I did try it on I thought hmm, not too bad and I uh, sent it back and when I wanted to get another one they were out of that range so I simply shopped around on the web and found another one of their handheld portable um, steam iron which we will be trying out today and um, yeah basically this is the first time I use it I have opened it though I must just say and um, this still wasn't um, all the items and I'm just now wondering if it's just like a South African manufacturer problem or whatever but I thought maybe not too much of a big deal and so I will be trying out for the first time on a video with you guys and um, I'm just going to then decide if I'll be keeping it and sort of giving you my honest review I thought however it would also be sort of interesting if I could just go to the nearest clicks and get um, another one which is on the same price range and I'll show you guys right now and just sort of compare to sort of uh, feel which one would suit my needs better now although you can use a steam iron for a variety of needs um i personally wanted one that i can use with my bedding i really really love and enjoy keeping a very crisp and hotel like looking bed and so um uh, because of sleeping and 
you know your bedding will sort of crease as you use it throughout the week and I thought it would be really lovely if I could just spare about uh, five minutes in the morning while I make my bed to just steam the bedding and just make sure that it's crispy and nice and sort of look like a, a hotel setup because that is really what I enjoy um, so I thought then I must then look for a handheld steam iron so I went for that and uh, I just now also decided that let me rather get also something from uh, Clicks and um, you, you can get it Clicks game macro um, disc game whatever but I got the one that I'll be showing with you now from Clicks and then the, the main one which I initially wanted to keep from take a lot so we will be doing that and sort of having our first time review first time impression with you guys I hope that I don't get disappointed let me know if you like reviews like these and what are the products you'd like for me to review for you guys because I'd really really love to do um, reviews for you guys and uh, yeah let us just get into reviewing the products before we get to test them out i hope that you're going to enjoy this video Alrighty guys, so this is the Toby Travel Steamer that I got from Take A Lot. I got it for just 349 rands, but you will really or can also find it under 300 rand. It just depends if you are lucky to find it on a deal where it's marked down. So it says, yes, you can see you can take it with you anywhere, every time. And that is really such a lovely thing, especially if you travel quite often and would like to take something in your bag just to refresh your clothes and i just am going now to sort of read for you what it says it does on the box um actually it says here that this uh, box contains the steamer unit it uh, contains a flat brush a full strip brush a cleaning brush a filling cup and um, a manual so i think we are just going to then open it up to see then if we have everything um that they say that the box of this unit will have and then we'll just take it from there now this is open but it appears that there is just this this one unit and that um cup and the rest of the accessories that they said that the unit comes with are not in the box and i'm not surprised because i told you guys i bought a similar one although it was a different price range um a couple of weeks ago and i had to return it because there were no accessories um so anyway this is how it looks um this thing which flips and f flops and flips. Am I even saying the right thing? But anyway, this is how it looks. And it just comes with a measuring cup. The rest of the accessories as listed on this box are not in. I am thinking, however, that if I'm really happy with its performance, I think I may go ahead and keep it. This is obviously just a measuring cup um, that was in the box. Um, nothing too special about this okay and looking at the unit itself it is quite i think aesthetic it is portable as it sh as it should um i only worry that because this is something quite new to me and it looks like you need to take it out or on i mean some of the features are quite basic but the fact that they aren't um, there isn't a manual is a bit concerning um but look i mean this is pretty much obvious you will then use that compact to uh, pour in the water over there and um, that is pretty much about it um i am still worried that there is no manual because it's nice to be able to refer if you can um it looks like you can open the bottom part i suppose this is where we would need to put um the accessories if the box came with um just like i have opened here but now i am worried that i just sort of have to try and figure things out and although we are not really people who like to read manuals, sometimes if you are confused it's nice to know that you know you can find your manual for reference um like this thing i don't know if i should take it out if i should iron with it or without it but i don't think that it makes sense to me um so i'm just gonna go ahead and take it out and that really just makes about 
um, this little uh, steaming iron that we have over here um, we will obviously need to speak more once we have reviewed and sort of determine if we are happy but now moving on this is a safe way um, garment steamer that I got from clicks and this was just two hundred and seventy nine ninety nine and this is in the Safeway brand. It says that it also has a 12 months guarantee. And uh, looking at the box inside, it says that it comes with a measuring cup. It comes with um, lint pad removing threads. Um, and it also comes with a brush. So we are just going to go ahead and open this up. And just immediately when I open, I can literally, literally see everything that, you know, it says that it's going to come with, unlike the other one. So this must be then the two or three rather little accessories that they said the unit will contain. Um, we just need to figure out how we're going to be using this or what is what. I think that um, this one is a lint pad. It's for removing threads, lint, and hair, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, especially if you also have animals because then I know the fur can get too thick. And then this says it's a fabric brush for thicker, heavier um, fabrics which now also reminds me that it means that it's going to be important that the similar brushes are on the other one but obviously we don't have it but now let us go ahead and have a look at the oh by the way this one also comes with a manual which is nice especially if you are using something for the first time especially if it's something that you're also not quite used to like i'm not used to steaming irons but anyway this is how the unit looks it looks a bit like a kettle and uh, this is not necessarily the kind of sort of design that i um wanted to go for uh, because i think i really was sold up by the toby brand because it's handheld and it's quite compact uh, but anyway i think the proof is in the pudding and i will get to see a bit later on how each one of these performs um this will obviously then just be the knob which you open for um your water compact one thing that i'm also realizing this one i think it carries about 250 milliliters of water which means that when you do get to do your ironing you don't have to constantly refill um and in comparison to the other one which i think it's pretty small um yeah you see this one is pretty small it means that you would need to constantly refill your iron more especially if you are ironing like a, a heavy fabric or something big like a bat so that also is something to take into consideration i suppose with those two irons um uh, but look aesthetically speaking i love the toby brand because it's just compact and nice and like i said if you are traveling i think it would just also make it easy when you do pack as opposed to this one which looks like a kettle um but i think right now we can just prepare to go ahead and start ironing and i want to specifically review or try it out on this guest bedroom beds and the linen that i have here it's quite soft so it shouldn't really be too difficult for any iron really to try and smooth this out so i think let us then just go ahead and get working i will be now i think uh, refilling it with um somewhat i think i have a bit here already but i'm just going to show you guys how we go about and do it so you open the green little knob just in case you have an item because another thing i realized is that there were not a lot of reviews english reviews about this product so i'm hoping that if somebody buys it and they want to do this then you know they at least sort of have a like a tutorial anyway that is done and you would do this before you switch it on but now i've switched it on and you'll know that it's on because then it's gonna go red over here and that is just the knob that you will use to press to sort of release the steam for your ironing and let us go ahead and start doing the work and I'll be ironing half a bed so that I can do a nice comparison between the two parts. And I think honestly, just to cut it short, uh, the top part of the bed is not done. The bottom is done. It does work, but I don't think that I'm quite happy with the results. Um, I, I mean, also I've got bed lighting in this room, so um, this video does not really even do justice. But I mean, you do trust my word. And um, yeah, I'm not quite happy. I just also don't know 
you know what let's just go ahead and try this one let's go ahead and try this one um there is already a bit of water but if i can just go ahead and um show you how then you would need to just open this is pretty much simple honestly and you will just open this knob and then you go ahead to get your cup and refill as much as you want not as much as you want but at least up until to the max which will be um indicated and i will then go ahead and insert this brush which is supposed to be for i think uh, thick and heavier fabrics even though the linen that we're doing is not necessarily thick but i just want to see what the performance will look like and um, this is literally boiling i don't know if you guys can see or hear but it is boiling it boils like a kettle and you can already see the steam although i don't know if it's too visible but you can see oopsie and just as soon as i start it's already emitting a lot of water i think it must have something to do you see there's a lot of water already on the linen it must have something to do with the position in which it is designed to carry mm -mm, guys i'm not forcing things i'm leaving this guys uh feedback um we have obviously done that i am not happy with uh either of the products and i will be returning them um for the one that i got at take a lot one I'm, i had thought i could settle without like the little accessories that i'm missing because it looks and appears to me like it's just like a manufacturer problem in south africa um, and I thought, you know what, if I'm really happy about it, I think I will settle. While it works, honestly, while it works, um, I feel that it, it is quite slow and um, it, I might need to work on the bed, on my bedding rather, for a long time, which is what I don't want to do. Um, and the other one that sort of looks like a kettle, I think that one works really perfectly. However, because I primarily want to use it for the bedding on the bed, it will not work because then you are only supposed to hold it on one position. So I prefer something that I, that can sort of go down um, um, so that, you know, when I'm using on my bedding, which is like the most important thing for me, then it's also convenient. So where? Uh, um, you know what depending on your needs yeah I, I i think i think i i'll i'll give them what a five over ten i think i'll give them a five over ten um but once again you know what works for me may not work for you what does not work for you may work for me so uh, yeah but this is my honest review i'm not happy with the products and um although i really wanted to go like uh for like an entry kind of a product product in the market i think i may just actually go ahead and try and shop some Thing in like the middle range pricing kind of product and um, once that arrives I'll sort of try and review it for you guys once again I think up until I'm happy and uh, find something that I really really enjoy for now because that was disappointing I think um, I'm just going to do this room for you guys because also i realized that the bedding i have over here i got it in december when i had a visitor come in my friend was coming in and i really wanted to get something that we can change as we clean or wash the other bedding that you guys know in fact let me just show you how this room looked before i got this and if you have not watched how i got to redo this uh, guest bedroom please kindly watch my builders um um, reveal project uh, video which I'll also link on the comments and over here uh, but yeah anyway uh, let me just show you how the bedroom looks with like they change up kind of bedding and uh, let me know what you guys think i'm sorry this was a very <laughs> disappointing video and disappointing review but anyway we all learn and if i get to save you or any one of you guys to not buy a product because you trust my reviews and my voice then i'm happy for now let us just go ahead and um yeah do the bedroom haul yeah the bedroom wall that's that's what we're doing now i hope you enjoy this part of the video 
All right, now this is the standard or primary bedding that I uh, often have in this bedroom and I just needed something to change. I've got a full video um, which I will link in also in the comment section. So pretty much simple monochrome vibes and nothing too hectic. And all the black and white cushioning is from a range of products that I did for Chimangas at home last year. I no longer have this available. And um, right over here, uh, I just had uh, this beautiful little rose arrangement. One, one thing about me, you guys, I love roses. And uh, But this was a, for a reveal video for a campaign I did with builders. Please check that video out. now over here is the new bedding. It's not really new now because it's late well now it's february um it's not really new but anyway it's like your change sort of uh bedding that i needed to get and because this bedroom is quite particular i um want to be careful and still play around with a lot of monochromes and so i have been and i'm still looking for like a few other monochrome beddings that i can get and this specific one i got from mr price home these beds are three quarter beds by the way you guys there are three quarter beds and i got this bedding in double mr price home and it was just 279 99 for a three quarter bed and just so it gets sort of to overlap and because you know you i often have adults sleeping in then you know i don't want to get a smaller size then just it becomes problematic anyway the, the monochrome cushion i have over here is once again from my range and what you want to do to make a pillow look this gorgeous is to just to get a nice inner and i was so glad to find that mr price home was beginning to sell a feather in us um pillow cushions rather am i even saying it right um and i got for 65 by 65 for under 250 rands and that was quite a still so that is just one way of making your cushions look nice fluffy and puffy and i think this is just about it the black throw that i have it was also there on the first or the other look and i got that from the hub but i mean you also get this fleece blankets from paypal and also from mr price so it's just a matter of you know knowing which color you want it with let me know how this looks i mean i love white but i thought this also was not too bad for like a change of uh, look when i do get to do laundry with the main um or rather primary bedding and this is just a close view of how fluffy the dark feather inner looks in any given uh, cushion really And if you'd like to shop for my lamp, I got it from at home. It was under a thousand. I think it may have been eight ninety nine or somewhere around. That's absolutely my favorite thing. It's actually a desk lamp, and I can't wait to have space and a proper place to style it properly. But for now, I just went ahead and matched it with this mirror, which we also got to spray paint uh, to match this uh, bedroom look, and also to match the pedestal, which was also spray painted this is it for this week's video you guys uh please let me know in the comment section if any one of you are using handheld steam irons and if you want to recommend a brand for me to try out i hope that you at least got to enjoy the later part of this video and please let me know what you think about the second bedroom look for my guest bedroom until next week please do keep safe